hello everyone welcome back to this channel in this video i'll be showing you how you can configure two routers in packet tracer as you can see this is the network topology i'm going to be making use of in this video this network topology comprises of two routers then a switch and two pc attached to each of these two switches so in this video i'll be showing you how you can configure these two routers so that pc existing on this router will be able to communicate with pc existing on this other network there are two ways in which you can configure this router so that pc in this network will be able to communicate with pc on this other network the first one is using the graphic user interface while the other one is using the command line interface in this video i'm going to show you how you can do the configuration using both of these two methods so first we are going to start with uh, the graphic user interface but before that for you to create this network topology you just simply come here to select the router first of all you click on network devices and this one will load up then you click here so that all this router will load up as well then you can select this router and add it to the window and add the second one if you want to join it you simply come here click on connections and then select the appropriate cable if you don't know the appropriate cable to join a router to a router or a router to a switch or switch to pc you can use this uh, automatically choose connection type so that things will be easier for you if you want to add a pc you simply come to this end devices and select the pc from here so i believe before you are searching for how to configure to router you must have learned how to add network devices to the uh, simulation window so i won't go through that so first let's start with the graphic user interface configuration of these two router so to do that you simply click on the router then you navigate to this config tab normally it will be here then you navigate to config tab from here you then select the interface that is to configure the interface IP addresses first. So you click on G0 slash 0 slash 1. Then you put the appropriate IP address. So this interface is the G0 slash 0 slash 0. And the IP address should be 192.168.1.1. So let me go and input that 192.168.1.1. Then I will update the subnet mask. And then turn on the port status i need to also configure ip address to the second interface which is 192.168.3.1 then i'll update the subnet mask as well and turn on the port status so we are done with this interface with the interface configuration of the first router let's move to the second one so let's configure ip address to this one as well Let's first start with gigabit 0 slash 0. The IP address should be 192.168.1.1 in this case. I'll update the subnet mask and turn on the port status. Okay, both of them have turned to green. So the next thing is to configure IP address to gigabit 0 slash 0 slash 1. The network address is dot 2. So 192.168.2.1 in this case i'll update the subnet mask turn on the port status so we are done with the interface ip address configuration okay the next thing is to configure ip addresses to each of these pc let's first start with pc0 okay let's navigate to the config tab then the default gateway should be 192.168.2.1 so i will copy it then go to the interface it should be one okay i've configured this before but for you to be able to know the ip address of this pc the things you need to do is you take this network address you put it instead of putting dot zero you now put this dot two and for the other one it should be dot three so let me close this go to this one it must be dot three the default gateway okay the default gateway should be dot uh, 192.168.2.1 then the interface ip address should be 
192.168.2.3 so i'll close it i'll go to this one to the config tab the default gateway should be 192.168.3.1 i'll copy it then go to the ethernet first ethernet interface i'll paste it update the subnet mask so let's do that for this pc the four gateway should be the same then epv4 address should be dot three okay we are done so the next thing now is to configure the static route so i'll click on this router then navigate to static inside the static i need to configure this network that is telling this router about this network of course this router is also <coughs> is only connected to the next router through this interface so it doesn't know about the this, this network so we have to tell it and then tell it the interface of which it can use to reach it so the first thing to do is to impute the network address which is 192.168.2.0 so i'll put it right away <coughs> dot two dot zero then the next thing now is the subnet mark it should be two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero so the next of hope is the ip address of this interface which is one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one so i'll add this to the routing table so after that i need to as well go to this router and tell it about this network sorry about this network so i'll go to static as well then the network address should be 192.168.3.0 next of all ip address should be 192.168.1.2 okay this should be subnet mask so let me copy this and paste this here the subnet mask as well is 255.255.255.0 so i'll as well add this to the routing table so that's all i'll close this the next thing now is for us to confirm our configuration to do that i will ping from this pc to one of these pcs so let me go to the command prompt of this pc then i'm ping one of these pc let me ping uh, 192.168.2.2 let's see if it will reply if it doesn't reply that means we have made a mistake somewhere but hopefully it will reply let's give it some time okay this pc is replying us let's try the second pc dot three he must reply us as you can see is now replying us so now i'm going to show you how you can do this same configuration using the command line interface i'm not going to clean the ip addresses i have configured to this interfaces of this router that is this one and this one or to the pc what i'm going to do is that i'm going to remove the static okay i also need to show you how to configure ip address to the interface of this router using the command line interface but for you to configure ip address to this pc you must use the graphic user interface so i'm going to remove the ip addresses i have configured to the interface of this router and as well remove the static route configuration that i have done on each of this router so i'll be back after doing that so guys i've removed the ip addresses i configured to the interfaces of this router and as well the static ip static route ip addresses i configured so let's do that using the command line interface of the router so i'll first of all click on this then go to the cli as you can see this log as you configure ip addresses using the graphic user interface is also done on the command line but is a kind of a program 
that is the command the graphic user interface actually running the configuration on the command line for you so that is why you are seeing this but let me walk you through on a normal when you come here if you have not done that using the graphic user interface when you come here you're not going to see all these things you are going to they are going to ask you to enter the global config mode and begin your configuration for instance let me exit to the privilege exit um exec mode so the first thing this is how you will meet your command line interface then you need to type enable configure terminal then once you are here you can begin the configuration of the interfaces of the router i'm going to first start with the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 so interface g0 slash 0 slash 0 i'll click on enter then i need to configure ip address to it with this command ip address then 192.168.1 dot one dot it should be dot two so i need to specify the subnet mask which is two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero so let's me cross check okay it's right i'll click on enter then i need to enter no short to turn on the port so the port is up now so after that i need to enter the second interface which is g0 slash 0 slash 1 as we are using the same command IP address 192.168. In this case, 3.1. Then I need to specify the subnet mask.255.255.0. Click on enter. Then turn on the port status. No short. This one is up as well. So I will need to go to the second router. The second router is a this one go to the cli as well okay no need of going back to the privilege exact mode i'll just go to the interface of which i want to configure ip address to let me begin with interface g0 slash 0 slash 0 so the ip address should be ip address 192.168.1.0 one dot one in this case then the subnet mass is two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero click on enter then no shots so the port is up now is now for us to configure ip address to this interface we should be interface g0 slash 0 slash 1 then ip address 192.168 dots in this case 2.1 click on enter incomplete command i need to enter the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 click on enter no shots down so this spot status is uh, as, as well up so the next thing now is to configure the static route which is what i did in the other way of configuring the router so the first thing is to configure today tell this router about this network of course this router doesn't know about this network we need to tell the router about it the command to do that is a uh, ip route there, there's no need of entering any interface so i need to exit to the global config mode then inside here ip route ip route then I need to enter the network address which is 192.168.3.0 So I will now put the subnet mask which is 255.255.255.0 And then the next of hub IP address The next of hub in this case is this IP address of this interface of the router so i will then put it 192.168.1.1 i'll click on enter invalid nest of hope ip address there is a mistake nest of 192.168.1.1 should it be okay it should be dot two not dot one i'll click on enter that will be added to the 
routing table so we are done with this one let's go to the second one as well i need to exit to the global config mode i need to also tell this route about this network so ip route 192.168.1 2.0 in this case then the subnet mass is 255.255.255.0 the next of hub ip address is 192.168.1.1 i'll click on enter then do right to save all of our configuration so we are done with the configuration using the command line interface so let's now ping from this pc to this pc to test our configuration so i'll open the command line of this pc i'll go back repeat that ping that i did before if there is no mistake we must be able to reach that pc hopefully to happen maybe app process is building but after first two three we'll be able to reach the pc oh you could reach it by the last ping so let's repeat it okay the pc is reachable so thank you guys for staying true if you have any question you can let me know in the comment section below also if you have not subscribed to this channel please do that because in my next video i'll be showing you how you can configure three routers you know in this video we did how to configure two routers in that case <coughs> We'll be adding a third router and that project will be a little bit more complex so if you are watching this video immediately i published it please make sure you subscribe so that you'll be know you will know whenever i upload the new video also if you are watching this video a little time later i will leave a link to the video on how to configure three routers in the description below so do well to check it out thank you